Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, obviously you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be making dupe kava bowls out of Trader Joe's ingredients. And the reason why I even wanted to do this freaking video was because I just had kava for the first time. I absolutely, positively loved it. Like with a passion, I loved it so much. But it's like 30 minute drive from my house. It's in LA, but it's a little bit far. So I was just like, you know what? Like I wanna re make this recipe and see what i can do on my own at home y'all even to the point where i pickled my own onions do i think i'm better than you because i pickled my un own onions there's only one of us standing here with homemade pickled onions so i mean i don't know but um so i also got so here are some of the ingredients that i got from trader joe's i got shawarma chicken thighs which i'm gonna just um like do on the stove top and then obviously this doesn't go with the mediterranean theme it's a spicy jollof seasoned rice mix but i was gonna make regular white rice with saffron and then i saw this in my cupboard and i haven't used it and i've had it for so long and i was just like let me use this up obviously i'm gonna do half lettuce which i have in the fridge i'm gonna you know cut up some cucumbers i also am gonna do some um they have like this fire roasted corn there, so I'm gonna do some of this corn on the stove. Then I got all this from Trader Joe's, the tabbouleh, which is like, you know, something Mediterranean, whatever. Vegan tzatziki dip, which um, it's just like a cucumber, lemon, dill, like garlicky type of um, situation and then the last two things that i got crumbled feta cheese with mediterranean herbs from tj's and then trader joe's garlic spread dip i thought those would be good because they have like all those really yummy um sauces i really honestly guys i wanted to make a like spicy garlic dip because um you know at at kava they have the um it's called like crazy feta or something and it's like feta and garlic and spicy so i might actually just make a sauce i might chop up a jalapeno and um mix these together and you know like create a little something but let's just get straight into it let's start off with cooking the meat and um making the rice because i feel like these are going to be the things that take the longest so let's get into it all right guys so i got the chicken thighs um already going on the stove and then also this is the jollof rice that came in this packet it said just add a little bit of salt and butter if i want i didn't add any butter but i did add oh let me turn this light on i did add some salt but that's what it looks like it looks like a lot of seasonings in there this smells so good guys and i just put this on there so i'm excited to see how this tastes i'm gonna not season it with anything else even though i usually do season pretty much like I do usually season all of my food, even if it comes like pre-marinated, whatever, because I like my food extra delicious, extra perfect, and sometimes I feel like, you know, like pre-packaged seasonings just doesn't always hit. But we're gonna just let this be, and I'm gonna just give it a try because it's my first time. Um, so yeah, I'm about to chop up some cucumbers, so let's do that. I wish I had some lemon, but I don't. But let's chop up these cucumbers. Okay, so I have some little Persian cucumbers here. Hold on, let me back this up so you guys can see it. I got some little Persian cucumbers right here, which these are my favorite cucumbers because they're small and they're cute. Um, so I'm gonna just chop them. Like this is how they have them chopped at Kava, like for the most part. So, and I know you guys can hear the dang um, chicken thighs going back there. Also, I'm happy that I got the chicken thighs because Chicken thighs are just like so much more juicy than I feel like chicken breast. So every time I cook chicken, which honestly is not that often, like usually if I'm cooking meat, I'll cook salmon. Um, but chicken thighs is the type of chicken that I pretty much always make, which also I'm gonna be doing a recipe for you guys, which is one of my chicken thigh recipes. And oh my God, you guys, it's so freaking good. Everybody loves it. Every time there's a holiday, everybody's always like, 
Winter, please bring your chicken recipe, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm gonna put this back a little so you guys can see me and the cukes. Let me check all the leaves. And a little more. So, yeah. So I'm gonna just chop up these cucumbers. Just like how Kava is, because you know, we're being copycats, we're trying to do the dupe. Oh, I hate when my freaking, when I'm cutting something and it just kind of goes all over the place. Let me get these cut and then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm seasoning with. Okay, so for the cucumbers and for the seasoning, I'm actually gonna keep it pretty simple because I remember one thing about when I went to Kava, it was not like overly seasoned. So I'm gonna do some olive oil. Not too much, nothing crazy. And then you guys, I got this off of Amazon after seeing it on TikTok. It's an herb sea salt. And I use this on so much stuff. And like, it looks like I'm using a lot, but it's really like, it has a lot of herbs in it too. So it's really not that much salt. Um, then I'm gonna do some ground black pepper. I love pepper. And then also I just got this today. It's this Ajika Georgian seasoning blend. It says spicy, garlicky, and deeply aromatic and savory. And when I tasted this earlier, it was so good. And I felt like it just goes with this, this dish like really well. So I'm definitely gonna put quite a bit on there. So this is what it's looking like. And let me just get a spoon. I already have this one out. So, also, if I had some lemon juice, I would definitely be putting some lemon juice on here, but whatever. We'll be fine. We'll survive. I don't even have a lemon, guys. I mean, a lime. Like, I don't have lemons, limes, nothing, and it's crazy because literally yesterday I just had so many, but my cousin had ended up making me some pozole. Pozole? Pozole? You know. Actually, I think I want to do a recipe on that, too, next because, y'all, when I tell you it was so good, I want to get my cousin in this kitchen and show you guys how to make it how she did because it was delicious. So, also, let me show you guys what's going on with the chicken thighs. Shall we? It's kind of loud. But I flipped them over. This is how they're looking. They look so good. Still waiting on this freaking water to boil for the rice. Got the cucumbers down. And now I think that what I wanna do is I want to try to make this like garlic, feta, jalapeno dip, mix, mixing um, some of the things that we got. So let me chop up some jalapenos, extra small, and then mix it all up for you guys. I have these jalapenos cut up. I cut them up pretty fine. Uh, let me just show them to you guys. So this is how I chopped up the jalapenos. I got a bowl right here. I'm gonna put the jalapenos. Honestly, you guys, I was gonna like put all this in my blender and like really blend everything up as like a super creamy sauce. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't feel like scraping out my blender. You know, when you make a sauce in the blender, you gotta scrape them dang side. So I got the jalapenos in there. And then also this is, this is the um, crumbled feta cheese with the Mediterranean seasonings, which is just perfect for the bowl. So I'm gonna put a bunch of this in there. And then this is really like where it's getting crazy. It's the garlic spread dip. Y'all, if you haven't had this, it is so freaking good. So freaking good. Look how it looks. It's like heck of white and like just, I don't know, like whippy. It looks so freaking good. I'm gonna take a big chunky monk of that. Let me just show you guys how it's looking in the bowl. Got all three of them. Dang, I wish I had lemon juice. Like, kind of loosen it a little. I guess it shouldn't be loose, right? This is my version of crazy feta, okay? Hopefully it's good. Should I taste it on camera or should I wait to put it on the bowl? I guess I could taste it now just to see if it needs anything. So this is how it's looking. <gasps> you guys, I'm scared. Okay, let me just take a little bite. It's like really thick. Take a little taste of it. <gasps> okay, that's a little too much jalapeno. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to like get the tiniest, like just a little bit of everything. Let 
Sí. Mmm. Ok. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I really just did something. This is so far. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Wow. Innovative. So now I'm going to make the dang corn. I'm just using a can of corn, guys. Because it's not that dang serious. Let me try to see if I know where my dang can opener is. And then let me cover this rice. And turn my timer on. Okay, cool. Okay, rice simmering, chicken thighs resting. About to start this dang corn, which basically can of corn. Like, I'm sure they don't use can of corn. I'm sure they cutting it off the dang cob. I really don't know, but what we are doing is using a can. So I'm literally gonna just season this super lightly. I already know what I'm gonna use because I Googled what they use at Kava. And it was basically chili powder, cumin, lemon juice, and it was like fire roasted to give it like that, I don't know, I guess roasty taste. Um, but I'm not fire roasting nothing. I'm putting it right on that stove and we're gonna hopefully get it a little roasty. So let's see. All right guys, so I got the corn on here and literally, if you look at it, I just have some cumin seed. Can y'all see that? Some freaking chili powder chili powder, a little bit of my herb salt. And yeah, like that's just what it is. And I'm gonna just stir it up and let it just roast as much as I possibly can. This rice is still going, it got 15 more minutes. After the rice is done, the corn is done, now we're just gonna put the bowls together. All right y'all, so I got these chicken thighs. I just had them like resting. Don't mind the wetness on the freaking cutting board. I just rinsed it off. Um, Okay, so I'm about to just cut them up. Like, I don't really know how else to do it. Okay, pretty, nice, beautiful, dark mate. <gasps> Get down! Nasty little boy. Ugh, okay. It looks good. Looks really good. <laughs> Y'all see how this is moving? Oh my God, is this staining my nail yellow? Does this have turmeric in it? Sorry guys, it's a little bit hard to cut. Okay. I wanna do a taste test of this meat though. Here it is guys, let's see. Mm, okay. It is seasoned well, but it could use a little salt. But I'm not gonna put salt. Where am I? I am. I'm just using a little herb salt. Nothing crazy. Just a dash, just to accentuate those freaking flavors. Cause it's like the seasoning is good. Like the salt, like without the salt, herb seasonings are good, but it just need a little salt, so. All right, BRB, y'all, we're almost done with the rice. Okay guys, let's put our bowls together. Everything is finally done. So I have this lettuce that I just cleaned out, cleaned off, whatever, cleaned out, cleaned off. Um, and yes, I'm using this big bowl because I wanna be able to like stir my bowl up comfortably. Also guys, here is the rice and how it came out. Um, I tasted it. And it's okay, but honestly, I think that next time I do this, I'm gonna just do like a saffron lime like type of rice. So I'm only gonna use a little bit of rice, like nothing crazy. Then this is how it's looking. Yum, oh my God. And then the corn, guys, the corn is so good with the seasonings. I'm gonna do some corn. I love corn. I'm like the freaking corn kid before the corn kid was the corn kid. I was the corn kid. But um, yeah. So then also, I had cut up that chicken and then I put it back into the um, I put it back into the pot because I wanted it to get all those juices on it. You guys, look at it. Oh my goodness. Let's put this chicken on there. Oh my freaking gosh! It looks so good, guys. I feel like that's like the base. 
And then let's do these toppings. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at it, look at it already so far, already looks good. So let's try the cucumbers that I did. Let's do some of those cukes right in there. Let's do some of my version of the crazy feta, which was so freaking good. I'm gonna do like a good glob. I guess right in the middle, why not, right? Maybe a little more. This is so freaking good. And then my homemade pickled onions, guys. These are so pretty. Look at how pretty these are. And I tasted them and they're so freaking good. Get those on there. Maybe, maybe just like one or two more. How good they were mm. oh my gosh okay then we got this tabbouleh look at it so pretty i'm gonna just use the same cucumber spoon or whatever let's do a little bit of this a couple scoops a few scoops a couple few whatever and then let's do this tzatziki if i'm pronouncing that wrong I'm going to be humiliated. So then I'm gonna use this. I want it really as like a sauce, but I guess I'll just put it right here. And like, I'm gonna mix everything up anyway. So what is it really? Oh, and this is vegan by the way, guys, which I'm actually really happy about. Honestly, Trader Joe's has been having some super, super good like vegan options. I had the uh, vegan lox bagel cream cheese. You guys look at this bowl. Hold on, we gotta get a thumbnail. One second. We gotta get a thumbnail. Is this even upright? It's cute. Okay. Anyways. Also, y'all, I did not forget the bed. Just, I just want you guys to look at this up close one more time. That is beautiful. Let me take a picture on my phone. I need to take a picture on the phone because I need to tell Instagram that this recipe is uploading tomorrow. Like it's that deep. Oh my goodness. Okay, but y'all thought that I stopped at just the bowl. Don't be silly, babe. I also got this sparkling limeade from Trader Joe's. Let's get some ice. Take my first sip of that with you guys. And also, let me grab a chair. Look. I'm gonna just sit right here in my kitchen because, oh wow, the bubbles made it go so low. Okay, so we're gonna try it. I'm gonna sit right here in the kitchen and try it with you guys. Uh, okay, let's see. Should I just mix it all up? Should I mix it all up? It's so pretty, I don't wanna mix it all up. Should I? Let me just take a bite kind of everything like with, just as like the first little. All right, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm doing too much, I'm doing too much. I'm trying to keep it cute and it's not to be cute, it's to be good, so hold on. getting freaking food all over. All right. You guys, I'm sorry, I'm just so nervous to take this first bite. First bite. You guys, 
I just remembered I forgot the pita. Look at this. I even got the pita, how they have it, kava. I was gonna fry it, how they do the ones at kava. But I'ma just, I'ma break one of these in half and pop it in the toaster. One sec. Because y'all, when I tell you the freaking pita or the flatbread, whatever, I don't know what that thing is. But the fried one that they have there is so delicious. I'm gonna have to, I'm obviously gonna make another bowl because I have so much leftovers, but when I do, I'm not gonna forget the fried pita this time. I should have also cut my chicken a little smaller because these bites are huge. the way dry paper towels feel. Mmm! Yeah. This is delicious. Let me just get my, my flatbread. It's like so good because all the flavors are different. The way they're coming together. Mm. Thank you, Lord. This is so good at home. Trader Joe's flatbread. This is the one I got. Indian style flatbread. Cause this is the one that reminded me most of the ones that they have at Kava. Their pita was like looking a little too flat. I was like, nah. The bread at freaking Kava is fluffy and delicious. Let's see. Mmm. I should dip this in the crazy bed I made. This was the best thing I've ever done. Cause now, this is the bowls that I'm about to be making. And I'm pretty sure this is all healthy for you. Like, what's bad about it? Maybe a little bit of bread, maybe a little bit of rice. Y'all, so good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please, please, please subscribe to this channel. Like this video, comment on this video below. Tell me underneath in the comments, what recipe do you want for me next? I wanted to do the pozole. Pozole? Pozole? Whatever. If y'all don't want to see that and y'all want to see something else, let me know. But this, y'all have to go to Trader Joe's, get these ingredients, and make yourself a kava bowl dupe. Bye. Thanks for watching.